Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Yeah. My name is David Soluwa Um from Nigeria. I'm currently pushing an Erasmus Mundus Trends Master's degree in biorefinery. Yes, and for my first semester, I will be um, spend, I'm staying in University of Technology of Tua, France. My second semester, I'll be, I'll be um, studying in University, um, Kaku University of Technology, Poland. My third semester, I'll be spending it at University of Lille, France. And for my fourth semester, I'll be carrying out an internship. I'll be doing an internship in any of the um, country of my choice. Yeah. So, today, hmm, today, I'll be discussing on how you can be an Erasmus scholar just like me. Yes. You can be an Erasmus Mundus scholar just like me. So the first thing first, visit the official website. The link will be here and also in my description box. When you get to the, um, the EM, um, the Erasmus Mundus Joint Master Degree Catalog, you will find different programs of your choice. The second thing you need to do is to go through the catalog, check for the program that suits your educational background. Very, very important. You need to choose the program that is is related to your educational background because if you don't do that, it's more or less you're wasting your time and energy to do something that you don't have a background knowledge of. You can actually go for your educational background and also your work experience, your back work experiences. It helps a lot. Then after you choose the program of your choice, in relation to what I said, either into your educational background or your work past experience. Before I forget, sorry, please note this. You cannot, do not apply to more than three um, programs. If you do, your pro your application is considered invalid. So ensure you stick to the three programs. But in case you get a rejection letter or a rejection letter or love letter, anyone, you can actually apply again to another program. That's if a new program comes up during the time of the um, love data because that one is already off you get the next thing is to visit the program of your choice but for um today i will be i will talk specifically on biorefinery so the first thing you need there are some documents that you need that are required for your Erasmus Mondras yeah document that requires so i think that you should write now you should need to get a pen and paper and jot down what i'm going to say the first documents you need in um for biorefinery application is a copy of your degree certificate yeah you need a copy of your degree certificate from your university at the stating that you actually finished with this degree the second is a copy of your transcript that um shows your for the whole degree and a grading system so for instance um they need to know your academic they'll need to study your academic performance from your 100 level to your 500 level or from 100 level to your 400 level they need to know so you need to provide the official transcripts or you can provide um unofficial that's if you don't have the official so you can upload that then the next one is um for my program they asked us to upload um a ranking in class yeah if your rank in class did not show your transcript you're required to like upload your rank in class you understand so that's the next thing then also you need a copy of your official um language certificate at the station that you know you know how to speak english so you might necessarily you need you 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 need you rather you need to um, request for um, a letter from your university like what i did i requested for a letter from my university at the station that yes so i for my university days i was taught in english language yes you can do that or you can decide to write Dufflin, IITX, like all those um, English professional examinations, you can decide to go for that. Then for the third one is the curriculum vital in the European format. But for this, there will be a link on how you can create an Europass format. Yes, a link where you can create an Europass format. Um, yes, Europass format, that is like Europa, um, the, you call it Europass TV format that helps you to put in your details and arrange it in accordance with the European format. Do you understand? Yeah, I, I hope you're getting. Then the next thing, you need a proof of your um, nationality. So you can, in case of your proof of nationality, you need to provide your um, international passport. So if you don't have an international passport, and you're willing, you, are, you want to apply for your Erasmus Mundus 
scholarship you need to get it now before the application will be open because very soon i think in the next two next month or the month um after the application will be open so you need to act fast yeah very very important get your passport i did that so you also need to provide a proof of a certificate of address for the certificate of address what i did i made use of um affidavit that is affidavit i went to a court telling them oh this is the then they'll give you issue an affidavit of address where would oh, you stay in this apartment this is how this and that so you need affidavits um, proving that yes so that's your address it's very necessary if you're applying for erasmus mondos any uh, it depends but for me my program they requested for you but i'm not too sure of other programs because i did not apply to some programs so i'm not really too sure so for that you need to provide um a certificate of address yeah then the second one you need to recommendation letter yeah for my program they said they, was, they didn't specify whether it was for work um recommendation letter or it was um, um an academic um um from um, an academic um reference letter they needed so what i did i i, I asked my supervisor in um um, back in my undergraduate days, I asked him for a reference letter. I also asked my mentor for, um, they are both my mentors. So I asked them for a recommendation letter, which they delivered. Trust me, they did a very good job. So the next thing you need to do is, you submit your application. Yeah. And pray. But yes, after you submit an application, the next stage for my program is interview phase. Trust me, interview phase. And there will be a video that talks about how, um, what questions I was asked, how I was able to answer it and all that. So please watch that video because it's becoming coming up very soon. So now, all these um, documents I've mentioned, I started by mentioning your certificate, your transcript, your CV, your recommendation letter, your proof of nationality, your certificate of residence, your English language certificates, you need all of them. You need all these documents to apply for Erasmus Mundo scholarship and um, and for my program, Bar Refinery. Um, so a lot of people have been asking me that, oh, Grace, did you need to write an exam for you to get the scholarship? No, you don't need to write any exam. What you need to do is provide these documents, prepare your SOP. Your motivation letter is one of the, is the, fact, is the most important um document you need to submit for for now i was talk about the ranking like the different requirement the ranking script for my program um so uh, for now i'll talk about it so for the selection procedure in my program there are some criteria that you they look out for first um the first thing i'll talk about is the ranking of academic um institution where you did your undergraduate studies there's um a ranking where they will place your university you studied in landmark like i did you finished from landmark university then we will you check where you rank in the world the second one is your academic previous record or previous studies so there are different um scores for each um criteria for the ranking of academic institution it takes five percent yeah then for the second which is academic um record of your previous studies it takes um 40 percent so that means if you do well you don't need to get your first class trust me you don't need to get a first class to get an Erasmus mondo scholarship you just need to be able to like you need to be able to write your so the sop well but you can have a two one two to see um get an Erasmus mondo scholarship i've seen people that had two two and they had um and they got their Erasmus Mundo scholarship. You don't need to beat yourself because you didn't get a two one. You didn't get a first class. You didn't get a two one, but a two two can get an Erasmus Mundo scholarship. You just need to work on your CV, put more efforts in those areas like your work experience, your conferences. So you have to put them in line with the program objectives. So do you understand? Yeah. Then the next thing is how you're able to acquire practical, um, practical um, experience. Yeah. Particular experience goes a long way to do that is like I said your work experience so you need to be able to talk um how how your work your current work experience linked with the program objective you need to be able to express it when writing your um your essays yeah then the third one sorry the the fifth one is a motivation letter for your motivation letter it's not just going to be oh this is my letter of motivation 
for bar refinery um i was asked to we were asked to write i think five essays i will show them i'll that will be in the interview in the next um, video or two that will talk about the interview questions the questions i was asked in my sop so there's a, another video that i'll be doing that will specifically talk about this so the next one is your recommendation letter your motivation letter your certificate um your certificate background of your previous studies takes 20 percent so imagine if your background you study chemical engineering or chemistry by chemistry and you're applying to this program automatically you're just having like you have 20 percent you have to you have a way of is it enticing your um the person your interviewer the person that that is going to your examiner yes your examiner so you're going, you have a way of just getting his attention he or she their attention the professor's attention so the next thing is you acquired the particular experience which i talked about the work experience it's going to be five percent like for my program it was five percent the ranking then the motivation letter is ten percent ten percent then for the recommendation letter if you notice recommendation letter is also ten percent so even if you write everyone and earth and your recommendation letter is not to talk home about is it the same thing so i beg you you need to talk to your um your supervisor anyone that that know that can explain who you are tell your detail the the scholarship board that yes so you are a good person do you decide your strengths be able to carry out tasks effectively like you talk well about you like intensively not just um, oh he's a good boy he's a good boy it's and that no 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 that's not it the next one is your award and grant that is 10 percent so if probably when you're in secondary school primary school university you you are given an award very very important please add it yes in my cv i added my uh, my award um as a first class student my um my department finished at the best guiding student so, so you add your award to see just add everything you can never fail so they said um for my program you have to submit um your english language certificate it's very very vital it's really vital proving to them that you know how to speak Hindi because this master's degree is taught in english language so imagine if you don't understand english or you don't know how to speak it's going to be very difficult and they don't want that for you so with all this i hope i've been able to tell you that for your responsible scholarship you just need to provide everything and write down your sop well you will be given and um in the next video i'll be talking and the next video that i'll be doing i'll talk about um the sop the interview questions uh, my sop like i'll give the questions that i was asked in my time how i was able to write it down how i was able to like sit down and bring um i brought about ideas how i was able to like oh this is what i'll do to do the interview questions i want to talk about your recommendation letter at least now you need to start asking your professors your your supervisors at work to help you with your recommendation letter it's very very necessary so you don't need to like slack when it's time for when the application is out so with this i hope i'll be able to tell you that you can be an Erasmus Mondo scholar don't let someone tell you otherwise you can be an Erasmus Mondo scholar trust me on this so please please guys please let us get to 1000 subscribers like i'm begging please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube channel subscribe like share comment subscribe to my youtube channel please watch the very end so a lot of things are going on. i i i want to really educate people about this erasmus mondo scholarship because when i was applying for my people i had supporters like i had people that were behind me supporting daniel Daniel supported me to the very end, even on my interview day. A lot of people supported me, so please watch the very end. Have tips on how you can get your Erasmus Mundo scholarship. Yes, you will be an Erasmus Mundo scholar. You would be an Erasmus Mundo scholar. So uh, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you love it. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for staying to this very end. I appreciate and bye bye.